If your car breaks down, you call the breakdown service. But what do you do if your tank breaks down or your jackal armoured car needs recovery? Well, when that happens, the British Army calls in the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, the REMI for short. So, how would you recover your jackal armoured car? Well, here at the REMI Museum, this computer game lets you have a go. A recovering a jackal from a riverbed, just the kind of operation the REMI would undertake. Now, REMI engineers are used to fixing lots of things, from helicopters to tanks, from radios to machine guns. But if you're trying to recover the jackal from a riverbed, it's the recovery mechanics or recimex that you'll call. This game takes you through all the stages, from lifting and moving objects out of the way using the crane, to winching out your jackal using a pulley. But what are pulleys? Well, hopefully this video will explain. Welcome to the Remy Museum's guide to pulleys. Here at the museum, we look after lots of equipment the Recimex and the other qualified craftsmen have used. These hard-working men and women have been doing this since Remy was formed in 1942. The equipment has changed a lot over time. They may be soldiers first, but they're engineers too, and this equipment has helped them get their job done. This is a modified international half-track. Like many of the Remy specialist vehicles, it's been fitted with a crane and a pulley system. So, our half-track's crane is just a machine that allows you to lift and move heavy objects using a hoist and a pulley. Cranes are really useful. You'll find them everywhere in garages, building sites, on board ships. But it's the pulley that we're interested in. Pulleys can seem really complicated, but they're just harnessing the science of forces. So let's see how they work. So, let's see how the Remy Recimex would use a pulley. Say you want to lift up a weight. I can just pick it up. The force required is the same as the weight of the box. But it can be easier to let gravity lend a hand. Use that to pull down as well as my effort. Let's use a small weight to help us. So, I can lift it up but if I put my string over a piece of dowel, I can let gravity help me by pulling down on the string and still lifting the weight up. I'm still using the same force. Could just be a bit easier. Problem is, I have friction affecting the string just here. Now friction is when two surfaces rub together. Imagine a box. If I drag it across the table, friction is affecting the box. I can make that easier though by attaching wheels. Now, when I move my box across the table, friction's been reduced because of the wheels. So, why not use a wheel to help us reduce friction here. If I put a wheel on my piece of dowel or a fixed axle, I can now put my string over the wheel. And if I put a groove in the wheel, the string will stay in place. 
Now, when I exert my downward force, friction's reduced, and it's just easier to lift my object. I've created a pulley. So, how can we make a simple pulley to test this out? It's easy. You'll need a cotton wheel, two clothes pegs, two pieces of dowel. I've used a bamboo skewer cut in half with the pointy end cut off, a paper clip, some string, and a weight of some kind. So, to start with, put your cotton wheel onto one of your pieces of dowel. There's your fixed axle, there's your wheel. Next, attach the other piece of dowel to your clothes peg. Like this. Now, you need to attach your axle and wheel to your clothes pegs too. And just move the clothes pegs a bit closer together. Like so. So now, you've got a wheel on a fixed axle, and you've got a way of holding it. Next, you need to take your paper clip and attach it to your string. I've put a loop in my string, just makes it easier. So I'm going to open up my paper clip a little bit, feed my string over the paper clip. With the paper clip opened out, I've got a hook. So I feed my paper clip and the string over my axle. If it comes apart, just clip it back together. There's a very basic pulley. And to test it out, I'm just going to attach it to a little weight. In this case, a small toy car. And then, as I pull down the string on one end, I can lift the weight with the other. I've made a simple pulley. Have a go at home. What about pulling something along instead of lifting it up? Well, the principle's the same. You just don't have gravity giving you a hand. So, how would you get that jackal out of the riverbed? Well, if you were using the craft, you'd attach your winch cable to the pulley system at the front of the craft. And then you would use that to help pull the vehicle out of the riverbed. The cranes on Remy vehicles use multiple pulleys and they also use an engine to provide the effort, rather than relying on muscle power. In the end though, the basic principle is not complicated. This is why a crane is useful. The pulleys attached make lifting easier and we use the crane to make sure the hoist cable is in the right place, above the object you need to lift. With our jackal recovery, you find that not only have you got to pull your jackal out of the riverbed with a pulley, but you'll need to lift an obstacle out of the way using a crane. So, that's how the Remi uses pulleys to help recover vehicles. If you want to find out more about pulleys, please go to our website www.remimuseum.org.uk and you'll find lots more information there. Or if you want to find out about visiting the museum or about our education workshops, you'll find everything you need on our website. Hope you've enjoyed this and look forward to seeing you in the future. Goodbye. The Remi are used to working no, they're not. 
two pieces of dowel. I've used a bamboo, bamboo skewer that I've... Bleh, I can't speak. Please go to our website at www.remimuseum.org.uk. Bleh, bleh, bleh.